Now, let's see, where was I? Oh yes, that's right. I was telling you about the time our dog got shocked by the outdoor Christmas lights. Now I knew that dog was dumb. And I stood there on the porch and told my wife, this is your dog. You wanted him. You unplug the lights, he'll be fine. That'll teach him. The conversation zone by Doug McConaughey. Can you believe this? I mean, I knew this would be a bad time to go shopping, but look at that line. We could be here for half an hour. This is like the time I went shopping the day after Christmas last year at the mall. Talk about people everywhere. I mean, let me tell you, I just wanted to get my shopping done and get out of there. You ever had that feeling? So, I see you bought the special sale on pickles, huh? I don't eat pickles myself. They give me gas. One summer, we held a picnic for my wife's boss's birthday. You know, just a little get together outside the quick mart. Well, I overdid it on the pickles. And well, you can guess, twice I had to blame the dog. So, oh, I see you bought hot dogs too. You ever see any of those shows about how hot dogs are made? I saw one not too long ago about a company. They had to recall a whole batch just because they weren't made right. They filmed the factory on hidden cameras. <sighs> you know, before that show, I ain't ever seen a five gallon bucket of eyeballs. Oh, my cousin Murrah, he said he found a ring and a fingernail on a hot dog once. You know what I told him? I told him, Murrah, you should have sued those hot dog people. You know what he told me? Nothing. <sighs> I think I made it up just to show off, make himself feel better. You never know. Boy, oh boy, is this line barely moving. My feet are killing me. My extra toes are just throbbing. See this red rash on my neck? Does this look normal to you? I think it's some sort of rash. I wish this movie would hurry up and start. I can't believe I got in on opening night. I got here starting at six o'clock this morning. I told my parents when this movie came out, I'd be first in line to see it. And here I am. Some girls at school, they told me they'd give me $5 to stand in line and hold their place. <sighs> then the morons never even showed up. <sighs> I can't wait to find them at school tomorrow and collect my money from each and every one of them and collect my money from each and every one of them. I called in sick to school on my cell phone. That way I won't get a detention. I hate detention. There's nobody to talk to. And I get really bored if I have nobody to talk to. I packed some snacks with me to the theater this morning, but not a real lunch or dinner. So I've just been chewing red licorice ah, and drinking this grape soda all morning. Want some? Oh. I'm feeling a little bit queasy, but I think it's just nerves. You don't happen to have an extra plastic bag, do you? No? Okay. Have you been reading about this one? I read in the last movie online that there were 72 mistakes. Do you want me to name them all out for you? Oh, you've never seen any of the movies in this series before? <sighs> okay. I can summarize the first six movies for you, so you'll understand the characters, but I'll really have to summarize because we only have 45 minutes until they open the gates. I know, I'll act it all out for you. I'll mind the opening credits while I hum the theme song. Ready? Mm -hmm. Don't look at me. Just keep looking out the window. I tried to get a seat for myself but this bus is full. Don't look at me. 
I'm in disguise anyway. In fact, you better just say I slept the full six hours. It'll be safer for you that way. If anyone asks, you never spoke before and you didn't see me. I think I left them back, lost them back there at the bus depot, but you can, you can never take any chances. In case anything happens to me, remember this phrase. The sun is shining, but the ice is slippery. Thank you.